All right, bro. So now we're about to get into the dreams. Blaze A. I had this one dream when I went to school. And then when I got there, I only had my underwear on. But like boxers. Like tidy whities type thing. Yo, how you gonna have tidy whitey boxers, bro? That doesn't make any sense. No, I'm just kidding. That's true. Like nobody thought that it was weird or nothing. And it was wacky. And I was like hella anxious someone was gonna notice. No one cared though. Oh yeah. I also had like my Batman rain boots on. And it wasn't until the PE that the teacher had me go home. That I woke up. Yo, so you just remember the fact that you have the Batman rain boots on and that was chill. Hey, bro. I feel like when someone like types their dream, it feels like nothing, you know? Another dream, I was walking to the bus stop and all my friends were like up the street already there. And the snakes started crawling out the sewers. And I was like, what? And then they surrounded me. And then my friends didn't do nothing. And then I woke up. It was mass scary. I feel like dreams are like mass scary when you're in the moment. And then when you wake up and you think about it, it's still scary. And then when you type it out and you read it back and you're like, damn, that shit was not scary at all. It does not sound scary at all, buddy. That's kind of rough. Snakes started crawling out the sewers and your friends didn't do nothing, bro. They didn't do nothing. They're fake, bro. They're fake friends. Are, are your friends okay? I'm sure they are. And you're not. That's, that's fucked up, bro. Choice plug. Okay, so look, I was at this party type shit. And I was trying to raise up some girls with my friend. The two girls were mad. Like, they were bad type beat. So we were a little nervous. Basically, I ended up being a meow. So my friend came up to them. I said, what's good, you know, and introduced myself too. And they were like both into us. So me and my friend kept flirting. Say, bro, we get into the business, bro. Eventually, I ended up making out. And she was a good kisser. And so we were back at the party going crazy for like an hour. Next thing I know, she goes back to my dorm. So I tell my, oh, wait, she asks to go back to your dorm. That's, bro. So I tell my friend who is making out with the other girl that we about to go back to my dorm. Wait, so you guys hit that too, man? That double trouble, bro? Next dream. Origin points. Hey, man, I stumbled upon your channel some days ago. I just want to tell you to never give up. Keep it the grind. You'll see the results eventually. You have a unique vibe. Keep it the dope content, bro. Stop trolling me, bro. You have a dope vibe. You have dope content. Stop trolling me, bro. Stop playing, bro. Anyways, as for one of my dreams, I had this crazy dream where my head was stuck in a window. The scene was happening in my backyard. There was a horse riding in circles and there was a creepy ambiance. Nothing made sense and it was getting more and more weird. I don't know what type of dream this is and what caused it to happen, but it was definitely one of the most weirdest dreams I've ever had. All right, look, bro. I'm going to dissect your dream right now. You know that that horse that was riding in circles? That's like the Serbian dancing lady that people be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's out there going like, that's what that is, okay? That's what that means, okay? So what that horse means is that it's your stress and your anxiety. It's constantly running around in a circle. And as your head is stuck in a window, that means that you're watching your anxiety, but you can't do anything about it. Everything that happens in front of you unfolds and you can't do nothing about it, bro. Your head is stuck in that window. You know, you're just watching your anxiety go in circles and circles and circles and circles, you know? It's like in real life, how you're like, when you think about things, you overthink about stuff and it seems like your thoughts are just going in circles and things of that nature. Man, it'd be getting rough for real. I, I actually have no idea what I just said, bro. But to be honest, I'm an actual psychologist, buddy. I'm a, I'm a uh, certified psychologist. Check me out. That is what caused it, bro. Anxiety for real, for real. No, I'm just kidding. I don't fucking know. Anna balls, bro. Anna balls. I've been seeing you in like a bunch of my videos, bro. Like seriously, the way you're always dreaming of some horrifying situation. My dreams are so silly. They don't even make sense. Yo, to be fair, I only dream of horrifying situations maybe like once every couple months. I don't dream about scary stuff that much. I do dream a lot. I remember a lot of my dreams. The last dream that I had this morning, I was at my old house and then I looked out the window and I saw like my old self from like 10 years ago, chilling with like my, my old neighbors from 10 years ago. We were out on the balcony, we were playing and they sang me happy birthday. And I was just watching myself as like a nine or 10 year old, probably not 10, probably like eight or nine, get sung happy birthday type beat. And you know, I was like, damn, bro, that's crazy. Like a lot has passed. And I was like standing there just watching. Anyways, I appreciate your guys' comments, bro. Honestly, your dreams are whack, bro. Like change, seriously. Honestly, if you guys don't, can't remember your dreams, you know what you should do? You should write that shit down. I'm just yapping, bro. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep yapping. So I'm gonna end this video before I go on for like 12 and a half minutes. But hey, appreciate you guys for watching. Ah!